Welcome to Tech with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about find operator in Cruise to Query. Find operator is very powerful when we need to find some data across multiple databases or across multiple tables. So this can be very handy. Find rows that matches a pre predicate across a set of tables. The scope of the find can also be cross databases or cross a cluster. So that's a basic definition and we are going to go from there and take a look uh, what this operator can be used for. Uh, so here I have created tables. Uh, so by using a total sale table, I created actually two tables, uh, one with the total sale and then I just rename another one with the Asia. And uh, there are some other uh, tables right there. Maybe we'll use uh, one of them. Uh, now insert the data you can uh, make some changes to your data and insert uh, for your uh, queries uh, and uh, then uh, uh, run these queries to find out uh, now if uh, we are interested to find uh, amir a a m i r uh, across all this uh, database uh, what we can do we that's very simple you will say find and then say amir let's execute this uh, now once we execute this is uh, returning uh, two things uh, one source uh, underscore that means that's your table name. So in this case, so we see that the customer is one of the table which contain Amir. You see right there, the value Amir right there. That's where it is. So that's why this row is returned. Now, in the total Asia, say a total sale Asia, uh, this is another value. So you can see right there, Amir is right there all across. Okay, so then we have total sale table where uh, Amir does exist as well. Um, so it is returning us a table name. Then uh, it is giving us all the columns uh, for that uh, row and uh, just uh, putting them in the uh, JSON uh, type of uh, format. Uh, so you can see under pack underscore row. Now let's go further and take a look uh, because we don't want to run this uh, for entire database that can be costly operation and maybe we are not interested uh, to see the entire uh, database so, or even we are uh, interested to see the entire uh, uh, tables and uh, the uh, pack uh, values for that so but uh, maybe we are not interested to see every column out of that so what you can do if you want to specific uh, uh, some column from each of the table you can do that as well so in this case uh, let's say we are trying to find uh, sale person first name amir if there is any column uh, sale person first name value equal to amir or a customer name uh, column uh, is equal to amir uh, then uh, project uh, okay that means uh, give me the columns uh, uh, sale person first name sale person last name sale person uh, customer sale person customer uh, sorry customer address uh, so these two columns are pretty much coming from our total sale and these two columns are coming from a customer table uh, you see that uh, as long as uh, these columns are available you can uh, actually take uh, this column from maybe you have even salary here right so just even you want to put salary here uh, that's fine you know if you want to display that that's uh, it's gonna display if there is a value for that uh, so salary okay so you can do that whatever the columns you would like to choose from different tables so if i execute this what's going to happen is going to run this statement and then sale person first name okay it find amir right here in the total sale table there is a column called sale person first name and the value is equal to amir so it found out that and then it's displaying that same thing for total sale and the total sale asia so you see right there these values are there for column called the sale person first name now for customer name it found another column customer name right there in the table called customer okay so that row is there and you can see that uh, we have displayed the customer name and customer address uh, that's coming from customer table so you can display different columns uh, from uh, different uh, um, um, tables and here uh, as you can see that i have customer address and customer name and then even we have salary we have displayed this not even in the customer table or even not in the total sale table but uh, we just wanted to display if any value matches with that and salary comes uh, maybe salary table has that then it will uh, come through that okay so these columns are from different uh, tables and uh, if the value uh, define the record and uh, then uh, there is a uh, column available uh, then it will display you that uh, so you can see right there so custom for customer it displayed whatever the columns it we had uh, then uh, it uh, displayed the, the columns for uh, uh, total sale person first name uh, tables and uh, then the salary just is there even if it is blank there is no value for it uh, okay 
now what we can do here we can go further and uh, take a look uh, find the records in which uh, column has the value so in this case uh, uh, what we are doing we are going for specific tables uh, total sale and total sale asia and where uh, i'm saying uh, sale person first name is equal to amir so if i go ahead and uh, execute this uh, what's going to happen is going to return me all the records uh, if uh, a sale person first name is equal to Amir in these two tables okay so you see right there there are all the records are returned wherever the value was uh, Amir now there are more to it uh, if you are not interested to provide the column name that's fine so we can say find in tables so list of tables where any column is equal to Amir so that's uh, fine let's go ahead and execute and now you see that uh, we have total sale and we have total sale Asia and uh, this is case sensitive when you are doing this uh, uh, any column equal to value and if we want to make it a case insensitive let's do this uh, equal to tilde so now if i do this uh, uh, there is a value in the customer table that should be coming up as well because see right there this is a capital here so that's why it was not showing up so this is uh, the query you can use uh, find in multiple tables for all the columns wherever the value is equal to this um, so see right there so you have the table names and then you have the pack so these are the, just a list of the columns available in that uh, uh, table and so the the whole row is concatenated in this way now let's go to another one where you find the uh, entire database for specific column values so in this case uh, i'm using a database tech versus db that's my database right there dot s trigger that means every table in this database uh, where any column equal to sale person first name equal to uh, arm error so if i will uh, go ahead and execute uh, it's going to go across uh, the entire database and for all the tables and try to find this column wherever it exists uh, if it has any value called arm error so you see right there and return you the data now if you are interested more of where you don't care about column name so you are looking into the entire database and in all the tables and you are saying where any column equal to North America so you can do that as well. So what I'm trying to say here find can be used for across databases and across a cluster so you this will give you kind of starting point like how to write across the entire database and all that. So you can see that h underscore total sale table has the North America right there. So let's look for the North America region is equal to North America. See right there. So that's why this row is showing up. And this is telling us it's coming from H underscore total sale table. Then we have total sale table right there. There are tons of records where country is equal to North America. And then we have a total sale Asia where we have a region is equal to North America as well. So that's where it is returning us all the records from different tables where any of the column equal to the uh, North America. So I hope uh, this uh, find will help you to find the uh, uh, records quickly and uh, perform your searches across uh, uh, your Azure Data Explorer database by using Kuzda Query. And uh, I will go ahead and put this uh, uh, scripts in the description so you can use it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video.